I'm standing by the most famous dockside in Great Britain. It was from here in Southampton on April 10th, 1912, that the Titanic set sail for New York, never to return. During the course of the next 30 minutes, we'll tell you the real story of the Titanic, with the only film footage ever shot of the great liner, and also the only film footage of the aftermath of the tragedy. Film which was only recently discovered in a garden shed in Northamptonshire. Well, we're going now to the Midlands to find out how this important film of the Titanic was discovered after all these years. We're talking about old films, that was his life. I said, but you've got that Titanic film. She said, uh huh. Might come in handy someday. Rene Mason found the lost film of the Titanic in her garden shed. Rene's husband, Archie, started as a trainee projectionist in 1913. Oh, we started when he was 13. And uh, but he's shown films all his life until he was over 80. And that's how I met him, because I, I worked... He, he showed films at one cinema, and I played the violin for the silent pictures in the other... That's how we met. He was, his, his cinema was in one street, and my cinema was in with another. And that's how we met. And I heard about the um, film they're making in America, Titanic, or oh, wonder where that whole film is. So I said to my son David, um, have a look in the shed. I said Dad kept all his old stuff in the shed. You know, he searched and searched, you know, he said he must have got rid of it. Well, I didn't think he would. He, he liked it too much. And I thought to myself, I could have another look. I couldn't find it. That was on, on a Saturday. I went to bed. Woke up in the night, well, half asleep and half awake. and. I heard this voice say, it's in the shed. It's in the shed under the bench. Oh, I thought, that's funny. I woke up, I got up ever so early in the morning, Sunday morning.